There are some really gruesome moments in this film. I was wondering if you could talk us through some of your favourite moments of horror in the movie and how you made them so horrific. I don't give too much away, but I will say there's one moment that I almost can't watch every time it happens, and it involves one of the main characters and, you know, a giant uh, meat hook, and it just, I cannot, I, I just, it just is one of those things that is really, it's, it's even having seen it, as many times and the day, I, I can't. It's very visceral. One of my favorite things in the movie is it's actually in a trailer where a guy snaps his neck back. We did that with old school puppetry and animatronics and so it was very analog and people love that tactile reality. And it makes you feel really uncomfortable when you watch it and it's super gross. I, there have been a lot of movies that just go insane and go crazy in that one direction. What I really loved about what you did in this movie is that it was really about these characters that you care about, that you relate to, that, that make you laugh, that you're intrigued by, who are going through these things that are, are, are frightening. And a lot of times it's the, the tension of sequences and moments, not just the sort of gratuitous gore. So I really appreciated that. So it looks like there was a lot of practical effects rather than CGI. Mm. Yeah, like, could you talk us through how you made them? One of the cool things we do in the movies, we had a, um, a C-47 on this giant hydraulic gimbal, which can tilt the, the plane on a 45 degree angle and also shake people inside like they're popcorn. There was a lot of documentary attention to detail we put into that plane and, and it was hot. And when we start shooting the plane, we're using real life squibs and sparks. And if you were to look at them, you'd go blind. So there's real actual danger. The plane gets shot down and Javan, who plays Boyce, the hero of the movie, hanging off a dear life as his fellow soldier Ford is pulling him out. And we were throwing um, stunt guys down, um, doing these insane um, rolling stunts. And also to add to the chaos, we did a fire stunt as well, so they're actually hitting fire, so they had to get put out of a f um, fire hydrant at the end. And the puppetry used to break the neck. Yeah. I mean, do you still have that puppet? Yes, we do. It's a bad robot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's <laughs> in the movie, I can't give away too much, but um, it gets, the, the puppet has has a demise. Because we loved it so much, they re rebuilt it for us. Uh, painstakingly rebuilt it, so it's oh, now wow. a bad robot. Yeah. And does it have the action? Can you control it? Yeah. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can. Yes. What a horrific thing to just have at home. It was one of a number of things in the movie that, uh, I just loved was not done digitally. It was done, you can you can see it on the faces of the other actors. What I loved about what you did is that you made a movie that, that feels gritty and real and is beautifully made even as horrifying as it is. And it's very much a sort of pulp B genre, but I think uh, this gentleman treated it A+. Plus. So you've got not one, but two Game of Thrones cast in this film mm. and a Game of Thrones cinematographer. I wondered if either of you would be up for uh, directing or working on one of the Thrones prequel series. Oh, I'd be honoured. Yeah, I, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Are you fans of the show? Is there anything sure. you'd want to explore if you ever worked on it? Look, I'm a big fan of Battle of the Bastards. Doing a big um, action sequence like that would be really cool. I mean, I know that they just did one that was like, I think it was 50 days to shoot. Uh, just the battle sequence. I'm like, I'm pretty jealous of that. I am in awe of what they do. I mean, they make movies every episode and I feel like uh, the, the, the truth is I probably wouldn't want to get involved and sort of demystify the thing. It's sort of, I just like watching it from the outside in. And I've been lucky enough to work with some people, you know, Nina Gold, who casts the show, who I've worked with a couple times now, and, and Gwendolyn Christie, who was in, you know, uh, Force Awakens. And anytime I hear anything about behind the scenes of that show, I always feel like, you know, I want them to stop talking about it because I just sort of <laughs> love what they create.